Hi, this is Lisa Nelson from eNutrition Services. I help you lower cholesterol, control high blood pressure, and lose weight. If you're trying to sort out everything regarding cholesterol and make an informed treatment decision that's best for your health, you may be feeling overwhelmed. I'd like to help you by explaining the difference between LDL and VLDL cholesterol. Let's start at the beginning. When you eat a food that provides more energy or calories than you immediately need, the liver breaks down some of the carbohydrates and protein and forms triglycerides and cholesterol. Well, we all know that oil and water, or you could say fat and blood, do not mix. So the liver, in order to solve this problem and export the triglycerides it's created, coats the triglycerides with a protein, cholesterol, and phospholipid shell. Now, a phospholipid shell is a structure that acts as an emulsifier, so the fat and blood will mix. The resulting product is called a lipoprotein. Lipoproteins transport different components throughout your system, such as cholesterol, fat, and protein. LDL and VLDL transport mostly fat and cholesterol, but they differ in the amount of each. The liver releases VLDL into circulation. VLDL is made up of 55 to 65 percent triglycerides, 10 to 15 percent cholesterol, 15 to 20 percent phospholipid and 5 to 10 percent protein. For comparison, HDL, the good cholesterol, is 45 to 50 percent protein. Once the VLDL is released, enzymes in the blood in the bloodstream interact with the triglycerides within the lipoprotein and change the package from VLDL to LDL. LDL is less dense than VLDL because it has lost a large chunk of the triglycerides. The concentration is now 10% triglycerides, 45% cholesterol, 22% phospholipid, and 25% protein. Now there is an intermediate step between the VLDL and LDL, but for simplicity's sake we'll stick with the more general overview. If you have high LDL levels, an oxidation process takes place that leads to plaque development in your artery walls, damage to vessel lining, and heart disease. Eating a wide variety of fruits and vegetables rich in antioxidants, such as vitamin C and vitamin E, may slow or, or inhibit this process. So let's summarize. LDL and VLDL are both lipoprotein packages in your blood. Both are considered bad types of cholesterol. They differ in what each package carries. I publish a bi-weekly easing that provides readers heart health and weight loss tips, and I'd love to have you as a reader. You can go to www.enutritionservices.com to sign up. You'll also receive the free report, Stop Wasting Money, Take Control of Your Health. Thanks for listening. This is Lisa Nelson, your online nutrition coach.